So the hash is finally cranked. It took a while. And uh, all I pretty much used in was that I put in the nodes like so. Um, with LSA dump on client two, we were able to successfully retrieve the following a miscache hashes from the system and also crack these, right? And that's exactly the output that we have right here. So we have now access to more users as a result. And another thing as well, um, the reverse MSI for some reason disappeared. So um, let's see. So what I wanted to do right here is just to delete ADS as a local uh, admin directly from uh, NetExec. We can also just upload the reverse MSI, get a shell system again, and then do it. But the reason why we're doing this is just general cl uh, cleanup, right? So we can see now no longer it says pond. It's just something that's generally recommended on the OCP, right? Uh, once you uh, hack a system, right, in the lab, then you just remove the the binaries and you remove the changes that you make. Okay, just something to worthwhile to mention. But yes, anyways, we now have these users, right, and we already have access to L faster because these were the credentials we started with. ADS as well, as you can see right here, was the use we were able to retrieve by cracking the Astro Prost hash. But J Bailey is a new user. So that is awesome. So we can pretty much just take this password and spray it around as well, just in case of password reuse. We've already checked the two other ones. So I'm just gonna do it like this, IPs, users like so. And then Polyon. Let's start with SMB and yeah, just spray it around. We can see that the credentials are valid and that's perfect, but nothing that has, says pond. Check with RDP, client one also valid, but nothing gets a shell and then it's loading because it's checking the domain controller and as we remember from earlier, the domain controller does not have uh, RDP open, right? So yeah. We can just wait on it to cancel it. Okay, it's done. And then the last thing we want to check is Veneram. Okay. And these credentials actually works with Veneram. And if you ever get stuck, pretty much one of the better things you can do is just always go back to the, the checklist, right? And then really making sure that you've done everything. Everything changes with a new set of credentials. You want to recheck uh, shares, you want to dump in all the ways you know how to. Um, you want to try all the credentials on all of the different protocols and you want to redo scans, etc. But yeah, uh, if you ever get stuck, this is an excellent uh, resource to go back to just to because it can be very easy to forget things, right? <clears throat> I set up this lab and I just want to show you kind of like how to work through it. And uh, yeah, so. Spray it across. <coughs> Network. And these credentials worked over Vineram. And now we have a shell. So awesome. So then, of course, the tool of choice when it comes to Vineram is going to be evil Vineram, right? So. The IP is going to be this. The user is going to be J Bailey, like so. And the password, polio3, like so. And there we go. We have these the right, client1. And we can immediately see the privilege, right? We see the backup operators and we see SD backup privilege and SD restore privilege. So. Yeah, that's awesome. We want to go go to the notes. And then the... Um, so I would recommend when you do to, to again, I would recommend this dumping the uh, the entity as bit. But again, this is not a domain controller, right? This is the client. So dumping entity as bit is not something we can do from here. But 
The easiest thing we can do is pretty much uh, grab this. So the system and the stem hives, right? We can just run it like so. We saved it in, uh, in task. So see Windows task like so. There we go. And then we can download stem. And then download system. This is always an extremely convenient privilege. We can just pretty much just get this ready and we don't have the anti it, so we can remove this. And I'm just using the built-in download functionality of Evil Venerem to be easily able to transfer the files. And the reason why I'm doing this, because this alone won't give us a privilege, right? But we're essentially downloading and dumping all the hashes we can from specifically SAM and system, uh, which is not all types of hashes, but it's the, what we can with the SE backup, right? And then we are using secret dump to dump it like so, okay? Mm. Now, if you enjoy how I teach and you enjoy this video and you want to take the OCP, then what are you doing not being in this course? It's over 15 hours long and it covers everything that you need. If you're only watching the videos on YouTube, you're missing out a lot because it's over 15 hours of content. You will get access to the VIP section on Discord where you can ask me any questions and you can study alongside all the other students in our course right now. You will also get access to this checklist right here, which will cover at least 95% plus of all the attacks and all the techniques that you need to know for every single section. Not only initial access, but AD, pivoting, Linux, and Windows privilege escalation. And the goal for you is to reach proficient or at least basic competence on all of them. That's one of the things. We also have this entire roadmap right here, where there's a bunch of action steps and a bunch of cheat sheets inside all of these hyperlinks that I can't show you in this video. But once you have completed all of them, you know for a fact that you will be ready to get into the OCP exams and absolutely crush it. If that sounds interesting to you, to get all of this in 15 hour plus of <laughs> video footage from someone who has OCP, who explains different attacks and techniques and methodologies, it's going to be invaluable to you. Now, some people are confused what they offer. If you're interested in the notes, these are the notes that you will constantly see me use in the videos, right? They're pretty much recommended to go hand in hand with the course, and I use them constantly in the course itself, right? So I think you'll find it extremely useful. That's also why we have the third offer, which is the bundle, where you can buy both of these together for a discount. I hope that clarifies things. Best of luck on your OCP journey. I really hope this will be massively useful to you. I'll see you in the next video.